Friends of yours. Pussy ass motherfuckers. <laughs> to the rest. You weren't kidding about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our pickers in the ground and fucking the stone out. But all we ended up with was chap nutsacks. <laughs> You dad in the army? Nope. Sunday school. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going up against me. I told you that <laughs> piece of shit ends That would have been good for you, son. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna bury that cocksucker right next to the goddamn nigga. Yeah, whatever, man. Just go check the other side. Shit, old rice patty's beautiful, then grab a one way ticket. But for me, it don't get ugly. Guess boy. you ain't Give ever been to Ohio. Gotta get behind something. There you are. Oh, sorry, motherfucker. Out of ammo, cover me. I'm boxed in! Oh. Oh. Easy to take down, boy. Give it a shot. There you are. Fucker can shoot! Uh. <laughs>
got one of us. Just like hunting swamp rats. Son of it, son of a bitch. Kill one old man. Keep your head down! 
Okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? No, I love. Give me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the trade tunnel? The tunnel. <laughs> it's your call. Choo choo! <laughs> Ooh, right on time! Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942, no, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. Smacks him a bit. Wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn Blue Street. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding? Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. 
Yeah, sure thing. I get it. But don't forget, my guys stepped up for you. They're working that hideout like it was already theirs. And it should stay that way. Except for the tiny little detail that my men secured the other hideout. And we did it with a hell of a lot more style. Until later, change your main lad. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitching these two got going on right now. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. This agreement we had, it ain't gonna last. What's the word? We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. Make the right choice here and I'll whip. You know I can handle this. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. My fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. Why the fuck are you calling my men to a part of the city you not gonna give them? As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Who got time to fritter away?
How you doing? 